Hey there, whether you have a printed picture or a digital photo that you just took yesterday, you've got choices on how to preserve that moment in time. Literally thousands of choices thanks to all of the photo saving app tools and softwares that are out there. Why do people struggle with saving their pictures? Well, I've got five truths that you need to know about that might be preventing you from moving forward on saving your family photo collection. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt. I'm a photo estate planner and the owner of Pixology. We are your go-to experts in motivation and education on photo saving apps, tools, and software. I am so excited to be talking to you today about these hard truths I've seen in action at Pixology. We've helped organize millions of pictures for people and there are some common themes that we've seen that prevent people from moving forward on saving their photos. Definitely check the description below for links and resources that I'll be mentioning during the video. And hit subscribe if you want to be alerted when I upload a new video that might help you on that photo saving journey. When I try to explain to prospective clients about organizing printed pictures and digital photos, I can definitely tell when I've lost them. They're thinking about the pictures they have in albums and on old camera cards and who knows where. They really don't know where to start. We are in the last generation of people who will remember what it was like to flip through an old photo album or watch a slideshow up on the wall. We are at risk of losing family stories, traditions, even the names of our ancestors if we don't do something now. Time, technology, and disaster are right there waiting to steal our memories away. Get ready to leave a comment below because I'm gonna talk about five hard truths that I've seen prevent people from moving forward with saving their pictures. I wanna make sure I've covered the reasons that are challenging you as you're thinking about saving family photos. Truth number one, People are overwhelmed by their photo collections. I'm talking about the printed pictures that are in albums, boxes and bins, Ziploc baggies, stuffed under the bed and in closets. They're overwhelmed. They truly don't know where to start. They're paralyzed even. My solution here is Pixology has shared our system for organizing printed pictures. You can click on the link above for a playlist. It's called Creating a Family Photo Estate. And we share the system we use to organize pictures every day at our offices. Truth number two, people take too many digital pictures and they don't go back to delete them. Raise your hand out there if you've deleted pictures off your phone in the last week. I'm betting at least 75% of you have not deleted a picture in a while. And it's so important that we do this because we're going on two decades now of digital photography and we literally have tens of thousands of photos. My solution is stop taking so many digital pictures. Grab the moments of the event that you're at and the people who were there. Snap those pictures. You know, you only need 10 or 15 maybe to really capture the essence of what was going on at an event. And then put the phone down and enjoy being with each other. The next truth is that people need to have one digital home for their photos. Think about the old camera cards, photo CDs, and computers, and whatnot that you have that have pictures on them. Those pictures need to be consolidated to one place. If you need a digital home for your pictures, click the link up above where I talk about 20 different options for choosing a digital home for your photos. The next truth is this, big tech companies want to possess your pictures and they do it through the cloud services that they offer. 
I believe that you should have the original copy of your photos in your home, preferably on your computer or on an external hard drive if you don't use a computer anymore. Let's look at the word possess, okay? I just put it into Microsoft Word and ran the thesaurus on it. And look at these words. Let's look at the first one here that says own. You have your pictures, you hold them, you enjoy them, you keep them, you retain them. When the big tech companies have your pictures, they more are in the mode of the second verb, take. They've acquired, they hold, they control, and they have power over your photo collection. This is very important to understand. When you upload pictures to a cloud service, that company, whichever it might be, has the power to change the terms of service. They may also be accessing the information you have in your pictures. Imagine what your photos would tell a big tech company about your life. For people who use iPhones and PC computers, when their iPhone gets full, sometimes they hit the optimize photos and that means the original picture goes up to iCloud and then just a thumbnail is stored on the phone. When you actually want to work with the picture on your computer, you have to download the original from iCloud. It's not an easy process and it's frustrating to people and sometimes they don't even realize that the original copy isn't even in their possession. The solution to this is to be sure you keep an original digital copy of your photos in your home, on your computer or an external hard drive. If you need to know more about cloud services, see the link below. I've got an explanation about how they work. The final truth I want to mention is this. Big tech assumes that you understand their services. I think they assume. Uh, they may not even give it any thought as to what your ability is to assimilate new technology and ways of working with your pictures. I like to reference a study that was done back in 2016 that showed 69% of Americans had either poor or terrible computer skills. Now this isn't the fault of us users. The companies keep changing and updating their software and operating systems. We simply can't keep up. I like to say that long ago, technology far, far surpassed our ability to keep up with it. And I see it all the time at our offices when people come in and they don't even know the basic tricks to using their computer in general, much less how to work with their photos. And they keep adding these features like 3D pictures, what are you supposed to do with that? Is it supposed to be a memory or is it something else? The solution to this hard truth is you need to pick that one digital home. It could be Google Photos. It could be Mylio, one of my favorite programs that installs right on your computer. It could be Forever, which the company guarantees to migrate your photos and video to the newest technology. There's a lot of options, but pick one and then use it routinely. I mean weekly, if not then monthly at least. This way you'll keep up on the tips and tricks of using the program. You'll be deleting pictures that you don't need and you'll enjoy working with your photo collection. Is there a truth that I missed? I could have. I want to hear what you think. Leave a comment below and tell me what you are struggling with when you're thinking about saving your family photos. Your comment might help someone else who's in the same situation. At Pixology, I have seen the joy and relief people feel when they finally have their photo collections organized, curated, and ready to enjoy and share. Be sure to check out the resources I mentioned below. And if you actually would like to hire Pixology, we do remote digital photo organization. We have people send us their collections to organize. We're here for you and however it helps you, keep on the journey of saving your family memories. If this video has been helpful, give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for joining. We'll see you the next time.